Hello and welcome everyone. I am Panda Pops and today we are looking at the Sandbox's Vox Edit tool, in particular the animator part of the software. Keep in mind Vox Edit is still in beta and features may be changed and added in the future. Just in case you haven't got Vox Edit, I will link down below to be able to download Vox Edit. You just click download, you will have to unzip the file and then just play it that way. And the home page will look like this. What you need to do first is go to the animator and then create new asset. Now, before you go to um, put stuff together and make a rig and animate it, you do need to have your little models made beforehand. So in the modeler, I do have a video on how to make models and the basics of it. So check out that somewhere up there'll be, be something up. Um, anyway, you click create new and uh, you just name it. So this is the one we're going to be doing. So this is what you are given when you, you go in. You have root here, which is the middle. You've got your library. You also have, whoops. You also have this that I need to put back. So you have the inspector, which is the uh, position and stuff like that. So if you need to get something perfectly in a certain position go that so first thing we're going to do is go to our library and what i want to do for this little video is show you how to make um just a few little bits and pieces on here so that's that's what we're going to do so we go to import vxm obviously this will you need to know where your items are so i suggest maybe keep it all in sort of one folder and find it that way and you um so you click import and you just import your pieces over so i'm just going to pop a few bits in there and a toy car so we've got our pieces to start with. These are all our models we've made in the modeler and we've come here. So always make sure you create a control node. That is your main one that you want everything linking up to and then create a child node on top of that. So we want a box main and then make sure you don't do it coming off of the box. You want it coming off of the control node unless you sort of want to do a separate control node um like for more advanced stuff but we're just doing the basics here so we want to add the lid and create another one uh we'll do toy toy one and toy two so what we do then is we want to click this one and we're going to move that to the box move the lid now they all start down here oh don't forget as well, double check. Yeah, that's why that's like that. Make sure you've got these set on zero and in the middle so it's easier to move them. There we go. I'm just going to double check this guy. Yeah, he's on zero. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So what we want is we want our lid to be placed on top neatly so there's no like z fighting or anything like that we just want it to to sit there nicely just check all the way around it make sure it's placed um so just before i carry on you click and it will bring up this you can obviously rotate by pressing the rotate tool and whatnot so if you want to move it to a set position like go up in um one whole movement you hold shift down and then just drag up and down and if you wanted to do it like by point increases maybe you need something just slightly moved out the way then you do it that way so for our whole model why are you over there where's your oh gosh you're not placed in the correct and you're minus three Beautiful, right, You're in the right place. I'm just gonna check this little dude. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so as you can see, we can see the little bums 
right there. Now we don't want that. We don't want that Z fighting there. I know if it's being placed on the floor or on top of something, no one's going to see it. But we're just going to slowly just move it up just slightly. We don't want it peeping out the top of there, but just enough that it's out of the way. So, right, so what we do, so what we're going to want to do is we just want to do a little animation of this opening. Okay, so we want to zoom out so we can see all these keyframes. We want to do it maybe to about there and we just want to move the lid. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to have it come up a little bit and then we're going to move the keyframe. Turn it that way a little bit, move this arrow again. Maybe even have the lid move up. Move it over here. Switch to this, right. Still want it. I still want it tilted up. So it's sliding down. And then eventually. Ooh, want it moved in a little bit more. Up there. Right, let's just see how that looks. So now it's it's fallen down. The present has popped open, the lid has fallen off. I have just realized though, didn't, didn't know he was still poking out of the top of it. Still poking out the top. So I think maybe just so there's not that Z fighting, we just move the lid up a little bit. Double check. Okay, he's not there and he's not there. Perfect. So, so I'm going to start moving like that. And there he is. There, there's the toys. So we'll just have it about there. And maybe even just have, have the lid sort of flip over. I don't know why it moved over there. So there and then it flips over and it's on the floor. So obviously this doesn't look very neat inside. So we are just going to move where these guys are at the end. And maybe a slightly more. Right, and so what you've got to remember as well at the end of making these, click your control node and then at where everything ends, you need to then just basically, I just click like just one of these arrows for it to end on that bit, the box main. Just go for it all. That's our last keyframe to move. But everything needs to end, you see how all of that, let me just expand it, all of that ends at the same. That's just how it needs to be. And if you've got an opening animation, then for your idle, if you've just got something where you've made it and you just want to put pieces together, but there's no movement or anything like that, you don't need to do this. Uh, but idle 01, rename, and then all you need to do is just click here and then everything just needs to be one keyframe. It'll be exactly the same. Nothing will move. You see, it just sits there. This, oh, whoops, I forgot about that. We forgot about um, the, the first toy. Right, we'll just have it perfectly on 13. There, then we won't get it. There we go, perfect. Too sure why it's not letting me click those. Usually you can. I'm not. That seems to be a bug right now. But yeah, and then here's our present. Oh wait, we're not facing the right way. So lid starts to go over, and then it flips, 
Now, if you want something going maybe a bit quicker in a certain place or a slight extra movement, you can start moving some of these. So maybe we want to, we're gonna have it happen super close together. So it just really, really slides quickly. It, this is good for when you're trying to get walking movements correct and having them place their feet at certain times, moving those comes in handy. Can kind of see that he he moves there. There he is. Peekaboo, there he is. Don't even see the movement. Well, unless like you, you time it just right, no one's gonna see it. But yeah, and that's, that's basically just how you create a little animation and that will loop through. Usually with stuff like that, because it will just loop. Usually if there's like a movement or something, you'd want it to, to loop back neatly. So maybe like the lid will fly back on or something like that. Or you just maybe have it bounce up and down, like the present bounce up and down. Um, or you have like a toy flip in there or something like that. But this is just the basics of how to do it. You've done it, you save it, and then you, you're done. That is that is how simple it is. So the main points are you you need to import your VXMs, uh, VXMs which are just your models. Uh, I suggest saving everything into one folder. So you make your models, uh, create a folder, name it, whatever whatever theme it is going to be, like maybe you want to do your own present box opening or toy something or other. Uh, but yeah, you just name it that, name it Christmas or, you know, presents, whatever it's about. And yeah, uh, create all your extra models. So make sure you name it like lid or box, or toy, like these are, this is toy three because I've made like a bunch of toys for Vox Edit. Uh, uh, yeah, so you just name it those, so then when you go into Modeler, and just so you can find everything much easier. And as I said before, you go to, you start out with a root, you get a root, uh, make a, click it, create child node, call it your control node, because that is the main one that's going to control everything. It means that we can grab hold of this and just move everything that's in it to a certain place, which is really good if you're building something like a table, or you know a desk or something large where you are connecting a bunch of stuff together having pieces on top of it and it's not quite centered so you just need to move the control node and it moves everything with it and then on your control node you create all these child nodes now obviously you can create a child node off of a child node uh usually i do that for little separate things if i'm making something really big and i need something separate going on over there where i might need just like one thing happening with that and then another thing happening with something else as a treat for you guys that have stuck until the end i will show you one of the things that i created that you can find in the sandbox marketplace currently um and this is what i mean by you can just make stock Things. So you can just, instead of it being a full animation, you can just have it, so this is glitched a little bit. One second, let me just save that and go back into it. There we go. Nope, that's still... Okay, for some reason it's saying lid from the old one, but never mind. So this is a little elf I made, you may recognise it from earlier. However, I've done it a bit differently. So he's got lots of different parts. He's got body, his legs are all separate in the first one. He, it was just one whole item in this one. He is just bits and pieces so I could move him about. So he isn't animated in the sense that he will walk or, you know, do stuff. However, he has little animation. So if you wanted him in your game, maybe play like to make a elf finding it, um, game because he is very small he's incredibly tiny um as an asset 
he's as big as the uh, the human's hand. Well, it's slightly bigger than one of the Vox Edit human hand sizes. I wanted him to just be tiny, tiny little elf. So what this does is when you put him in the game, you can select, or if you put numerous ones in the game, you can select that he has this uh, happy face or he can be asleep, sat, idle, um, arms out, marching or standing. And you can do that individually to lots of different ones. So if they're hiding about, you can have numerous ones doing different things that people would have to find in a game. But yeah, so that face, he has that. And then I click to sleep, sat, so he's got his little legs out, idle, he's just normal, arms out, so it looks like he's waving, marching, idle, so it just kind of looks like he's walking, and then just a standing still. So that's what you could do. And to do that, which you can't see on here because for some reason it's gone a bit weird, is you basically, let me pause that. So you would just have him and you'd you'd have the keyframe as him laid down. You'd position him. You'd want your first keyframe to him being laid down and you'd you do the same where you just grab the body like that. See that his body doesn't move. It's just all one keyframe and you need it so there we go it's sorted now there we go so click control and you can just see all these pieces right there body everything is all just one keyframe and you position it and then make a new animation and you just get in position so what i do with the happy face is he's got these separate little eyes happy eyes and i move them in and out so they're actually inside his head for all the other ones or placed inside of him. Um, when it's on an animation that I want them to be used, that's when you move them out into where you need them to be. So that's a really good little trick is to be able to hide bits and pieces inside the animation because you don't really want to be hiding them below ground level. You can, but it just doesn't look that, that nice. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about the animator tool on Vox Edit. If you are interested in other blockchain games, definitely check those out. Um, Axie Infinity is one that I absolutely love and I have a video that you can watch that is for the Axie basics to give you a little introduction about Axie Infinity and maybe see if you, you want to give it a go. I aim to post two to three times a week. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment down below and have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.